<laughs> Hi guys, that hour went by so fast. Oh my God. I hope Adrian comes back. <laughs> Sorry guys, usually I thought Instagram Live gave you like a little warning that you were gonna run out of time, but I guess not. <laughs> is Adrian still in here? Okay, so my vibe is telling me that he has potential to be very ruthless. Like he, I don't wanna say verbally abusive, but it's giving me that feeling that he can be, okay? That he can be very, um, very rough with his words. Yeah, he can be. Okay. Let me, oh, okay. Let me, <laughs> let me pull. Oh, girl. Okay. I don't think this is one that you should be giving enough much time to. Hi, boobs. Oh, hello there. <laughs> um, the love card came up, but when I pulled it, it was upside down. Okay. So this is telling me, Adrian, that this relationship, this potential might be a blessing in disguise that it's not coming through. And I actually just saw, cause I know I read for your dad before I saw dad going like this. Okay. So I feel like dad in a way is watching over you on the other side and is kind of actually literally parted that from happening. Okay. Um, the other cards that I pulled is nightmares. So there's a lot of like um, depression. There's a lot of like an inability to sleep. This guy is kind of bad news. I'm really feeling that bad news vibe. And then I pulled the self card and the wings are sticking out to me a lot. This is telling me it's like you needing, you needing to have more power in yourself to, to trust. And I think the wings are saying fly away. Fly away, girl. <laughs> okay. You're welcome, love. Okay, let's see, who do I wanna read for next? Yes, I saved the video. <laughs> okay, Dimples, let's do a reading for you, girl. What do you want? Dimples, what's your question? Hubby's right here, he's laying on the floor. He's like, I wanna eat. <laughs> So I'll do a couple more readings and then I'm gonna have to call it quits because hubby's gonna be, we're, well actually I'm, I'm getting hungry too. Let's see, dimples. Dimple, okay, a message from my dad. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, was dad involved with the guitar or music? Because I saw a guitar as soon as you said your question. May not be your dad though, it could be someone else because there's a lot of people in here. But something with music, a band, um, a guitar though, I saw a guitar. So Spirit could be sending a guitar, okay. Friendship and infected. Toxic friends. Friendship and infected is popping up. Now, dad energy can be much of a guardian for you, okay? Do you have a friend that works with, works with, that uses guitar or is a musician or something with music? Maybe that's why the guitar came up because friendship and infected popped up for you. And that's making me wonder if dad is saying, um, there's somebody in your circle that you should be a little bit, like have a, a red flag with, be weary about. Not that you can think of at the moment. Okay. Hmm. We have 10 of cups, we have six of swords, and we have the fool. And six of swords is leaving a really negative situation. Ten of Cups is a family card. It could be, and then we have the Fool of starting over and starting fresh, okay? It's like a new beginning. Is there a pending move or is there a discussion of vacating something at this moment? I don't know why that, that's, I'm not able to connect.
When dad passed, was dad around? Like, was, was mom and dad, were they married still? Maybe he's validating that. They were separated. Okay. So maybe he's saying, like, maybe he's coming through to show that it's really him as saying Ten of Cups with the Six of Swords. There was the family dynamic, but the Six of Swords is leaving that. Okay. And you're going to be moving in April. Maybe that's it. It could be too. Because I'm feeling like it's this, the, like, I'm, this is the way I'm seeing it as a, as a storyline. Ten of Cups is family. Six of Cups is leaving. And the Fool card is starting over. Okay. So. If we're talking about dad's energy coming through, he that could be his way of validating to you, this is me, because, you know, by saying I, you know, I wasn't with mom, I left the family, that kind of thing. And then by you saying if you're moving, it could be that too. Six of Swords can be showing that, and you will have a fresh new start soon. And full energy for that is really good. The other thing, though, I'm really, I'm really focused on that friendship and the infected card. Whoever, or who, if you're moving in with people, be careful who it is, or be careful of the attitudes that start coming out of the woodwork when you start doing something amazing for yourself like that, okay? So maybe this is a message that it hasn't happened yet. Um, maybe that'll transpire. I hope it doesn't because it sucks when you have, you know, when you have friendship dynamics that don't, so they're not supporters of your decisions, but that might be something popping up, okay? Okay, let's see. Doo -doo. Okay, Ashley, I just saw baby, so I'm like, okay, I want to read for baby. <laughs> I want a baby now, but what does my soul path say? Okay, so you want to have a baby. So I'm going to be doing a reading for Ashley. Ash Ashlyn Darling. So Ashlyn Darling, if you're still in here, go ahead and let me know you're in here. I'm going to be pulling. I want a baby. You don't know. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be reading for you right now, though. So you want a baby. Okay. Ashlyn, are you, have you been hesitant to go see a doctor about it? Yeah. Because I'm getting the vibe that it's, it's saying, don't worry about that visit. Do it. But I'm also seeing male energy. So how, are you, if you could have a boy or a girl, would you prefer a boy? Because I keep seeing boy. Ashlyn, a boy, if you could have a boy or a girl, would you want a boy? <laughs> if you haven't gone to the doctor or you've been contemplating if you should go to the doctor, something like that is popping up. Yes, you wish for a boy. Okay, so the boy energy is there. That's what I was seeing. Um, We have Justice, Five of Wands, and we have Queen of Pentacles. You're worrying, and I'm going to go ahead and say, I don't know how your relationship is with mom, but mama energy is coming up, and I don't know if mom kind of puts you down when you start worrying about your fertility. Like, mom is kind of like, don't worry about it. It'll happen. Like, almost like she's not, she's insensitive to you about it. That's the feeling I'm getting. Yes, you wish for a boy. My husband has some health issues. Okay, we'll talk about that too. And has you and hubby, because the five of wands came up too. Um, five of wands is kind of like a conflict card of a lot of like fighting and stuff. But I'm feeling this is with mom energy though. I don't see this as mom or more. I don't see like you're having conflict with your husband. I feel like this is mom. 
almost like she doesn't believe you, like she doesn't validate your fears of not being able to have a child. Mom supporting, but sister is pregnant and has been, and it has been hard. Sister's pregnant, okay. The oracle cards that I pulled for you are observe, explore, and then I pulled anger. There's some, like a lot of frustration on your end. Anger. I don't know why I feel so pulled with that with mom energy, why that is so coming up, but I could be tuning into something else. Um, observe and explore. Observe is kind of seeing, see the big picture when it comes to you planning your family. Don't be tunnel vision. Okay. Um, exploring. That's why I was saying about the doctor. There's a lot of options out there, but I feel like to get yourself to feel more comfortable about your situation, seeing a doctor won't hurt. Okay. Just to make sure everything's good. Get a good checkup. You know what I mean? But I definitely see when I when you mentioned wanting a baby, I saw a boy. So I feel like a boy is what you will have. Ah, and then I also pulled the Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the card. <coughs> the process of actually conceiving, I feel Eight of Wands is saying move forward with it and go. The minute you feel like you're ready, go forward with it and do it. I just heard miscarriage. <laughs> I don't know if this goes hand in hand with your sister. Did your sister have a miscarriage prior to this pregnancy that she had? Or is someone in this room dealing with that? I don't know why that came up with this eight of, with the eight. The eight is what, it could be um, August. Did someone experience a miscarriage in August this summer? Okay, it could be the mother-in-law. The number 22 keeps repeating itself. What is it trying to say to me? Twos are a number of um, companionship. The, I always see a twos is working together with someone. So if you are at odds with somebody that you are close with, twos can be popping up as a reminder of that. It also could be twos is a fork in the road. So I also see twos as having to make a big decision. Something is going to come up where you're going to have to make a deciding factor between two things. Okay, let's do Jenny. Jenny's charity. Miss Jenny, who started her period and had me feeling all crampy. Those, and by the way, that feeling, that back pain and stuff, that's all gone too. So that's another thing you guys might experience is like when you open space for spirit or when you're doing readings for a lot of people, you're gonna start feeling different things with your body. So that's why I'm just calling it out there, like as I feel it, because I was feeling really hot. I was, you saw my chest was all turning red at that at one point. I was feeling the back pain. I don't feel it now. <laughs> so Jenny, what is your question, love? You the best. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell me about your future love? Okay. All I need to know, future love, are you currently in a relationship or are you single? This way I don't spend too much time interpreting both. You keep getting the death card when you ask? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Death card, instantly I'm thinking put to rest what is in the past. Let it go. Yeah, you're single. Okay. Let go of any thoughts of thinking you're going to get back together with someone. First things first. The death card popping up a lot for that is saying you need to close that door because there's another one opening. Okay? So first things first, it's saying get, stop, close the past. You're working on the present and we're aiming for the future. Okay? So... <laughs> 
<laughs> Girl, I pulled the world card, okay? So future in love, world is showing finishing line, you know, you've reached the finishing point. Basically, this next experience that you're gonna have in a relationship is gonna be very much more adult, okay? So I don't know if you've ever been told that you need um, more adult, adult like relationships or uh, you or you maybe you've said so yourself i need i need a grown person not a little boy or whatever a little girl whatever you know whoever whatever you love but the world's card is making me feel like you need someone who's more grown and who is more taking care of business okay we have page of wands and we have ace of swords this passion is going to be quick pages of wands Yes and yes, okay. <laughs> Page of Wands is telling me as a warning, okay? I don't know if you like to date younger than you, I would advise not to, okay? So I'm just putting it out there. Don't date younger. I feel like you need to go up a little bit. Up, up, up. And Ace of Swords is you need to be able to speak your truth in a relationship. You need to be able to be yourself. You need to be able to speak your mind Okay, communication is also super important. I'm gonna go ahead and say that in your past relationships, there was a lot of lack of communication. Okay, so you need to make sure when you are finding love that you you are with someone that you literally feel you can talk and talk and talk and they're gonna listen and understand. Vice versa too, okay? <laughs> Page of Wands is your life. It is your life, girl. All those youngins. <laughs> Your mom says it all the time that you need an older man. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna validate for you that yes, don't date young. Pages are young, people. It works for some people, but for you, I feel like you need someone older. Lack of communication, okay, good. So that's what I see coming up for you, girl, is that there's gonna be definitely a big change. This next relationship that you're gonna be walking into, you're definitely going to feel it's a level up, okay? So aim for someone older, but it is definitely going to feel a level up for you. Trying to choose between two people. Can I get a reading? Yes, let's choose between two people. I like those kind of readings. Um, so Gabatha, go ahead and tell, oh, let me see, Ashlyn. Gabatha, go ahead and put in your question. And then Ashlyn, let me read. Sorry, your iPad was glitching out. Thank you for the reading. Yes, definitely you want a boy. Your husband's health has been a concern for us, but maybe focus on the wrong per but maybe maybe focus on the wrong person. It could have been, girl. There's a lot of people in here, and like I said, it's kind of like you I, I'm feel I'll feel everything, so I apologize. There's been a there's been a lot of anger inside of you surrounding wanting a baby and keep getting messages not now. That made a lot of sense that you pulled that. Yeah, the anger card definitely it, the anger card tripped me out a little bit. Okay. The anger card tripped me out a little bit because it made me feel like like just just it's not a lot of resentment, but it's just there's just a lot of that emotion going on. But I feel like it what it is is I think you just need um, some sort of a visit whether it's a doctor's visit or something to give you hope and to tell you that everything's going to be fine, okay? But I definitely see baby energy. I do see a, a boy. Okay, so for um, Gabatha, you're seeing two people at the moment. One is fresh and new and the other is comfortable. Oh, girl. Okay, so one of them is like fresh and new meat. And then the other one is familiar territory. So let's pull for that. Let's give you, I'm gonna give you energies for both and you can decide. I'm not gonna tell you who to pick. This is hot and spicy, this is comfortable, okay? So hot and spicy, their energy is coming up as a Knight of Cups. So they say all the right things. King of Cups and Four of Cups, okay. They are all about water energy. So these are people who are really in tune with the heart and their emotions, okay? This person coming up as a knight and a king of cups is telling me that they are so in touch with their heart. They know how to say the right things, okay? So probably one thing that caught your attention about this person is that they, it's almost like they know what to say to you to make you melt, okay? <laughs> okay? Yeah, suave as fuck. Yeah, definitely. Super suave. And then the four of cups. This person can be a little clingy, okay? 
I'm seeing stage five clean your status here with this person. So on a good day, when they're a good king of cups, they're really, you know, they're on top of their emotions and stuff. But I think they have an, a little, a little Achilles heel of being potential clinger. Okay. And then for Mr. or Mrs. Um, casual and comfortable, what do we have here? Queen of Swords, <laughs> Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, and we have a Seven of Swords. Ugh. Okay. Was there already a time that you, um, maybe broke things off with this person or you've already dealt with a big blowout with this person dealing with lies his last name is actually clinger <laughs> that is hilarious oh my god i love it <laughs> yeah he's been hitting on you for months okay so he knows what to say he's he's a king of cups they know how to woo you okay but they always have something wrong with them trust me <laughs> Um, okay, and then, so Gabitha, how about the person who is comfortable? Have you had an issue with this person lying or being manipulative or not being able to trust everything that they say? Many, many times? Okay, so <laughs> the Ten of Wands is telling me there's a lot of, um, a lot of weight on their shoulders. That's like the, the image that I see for Ten of Wands is like you have a lot of, of, of stress on their shoulders. Um, this person has a lot of baggage with you. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that needs to be forgiven and forgotten, okay? Um, I feel like ten, because it's comfortable, you get to a point where maybe, you know, you guys are good and then something happens and you guys start arguing and the next thing you know, you're arguing about shit that you already argued about two, three years ago, okay? They're also coming up as a queen of swords. They are rough with their words. Um, they're very truthful when they speak. They tell you how it is, but they also tend to lie and fib with the seven of swords. Okay. So I would say if I'm going to give you my true thing, I would say be weary of Mr. King of Cups. Okay. But I feel like the water element, I feel like that's appealing to you because you're all up in this sword energy right now with this other person, Mr. Comfortable, that... I think the water energy is a breath of fresh air for you. <laughs> but be careful of becoming, you know, drunk in love with this person because I do, I do feel like they have a tendency once they get you, once he's got you, he's a little clingy, okay? So be careful. But I also feel like that that isn't always a bad thing. I mean, you could be a, a comfortable clingy person. Um, you don't have to be toxic clingy person. But always trust your judgment. But I would say my advice, ugh, Mr. Comfortable, I would kind of let them go. Let them go. If you can't trust what they say all the time, that is not a relationship. At least in my opinion, that is not a relationship I want to be in if I can't trust you. <laughs> okay? They're both Taurus. <laughs> okay. Let's do um, It's Crystal. May I please have a reading? P.S. Love your nails. Thanks, girl. <laughs> okay, so it's Crystal. What is your question? Go ahead and list it for me in the comments. Good night, my love. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Miss Jackie, yes, I will read for you next after it's crystal. Just started a new job after not having one for a while, and I have been you've been feeling very, very lonely lately. Okay, so you just started a new job. It's hard getting back into work when you haven't been there for a while. Okay, so I pulled judgment. I pulled Knight of Pentacles and King of Wands. Do you work around male energies or alpha males? This could be also female energy, but maybe they're very like, just very masculine, overbearing. Do you feel kind of like the little fish out of water? <laughs> For its crystal. The feeling that I'm getting also is with the judgment card. I feel like you worry too much about what other people are thinking of you. 
Good night, my love. Your actual boss is a male. Okay. So I feel like um, with that, with the energy that's coming up is judgment kind of being surrounded by the knights um, and the male energies. I feel like, yeah, you do. Yeah, you uh, worrying a lot about what other people are thinking of you. You stepped into this job wanting to already be accepted, but you have to keep in mind you are entering someone else's domain, okay? So when you start a new job, you, ha you almost always have to pay your dues. You have to kind of be accepted in that group, okay? So I feel like with the judgment card, it's kind of saying try to not worry so much about what they're thinking of you and focus more of how you can make yourself be likable be yourself for one thing the more you try to be someone you're not people will sense it and they will feel the fakeness okay but the judgment card I feel is like you got to get out of that headset don't worry about what everyone is thinking of you okay good night loves thank you you're welcome for holding space you're welcome you're welcome Brit okay for um for Miss Jackie, what is your question, my love? Woo! This one came out. Dreams came out. <laughs> Thank you for what you do. Oh, you're welcome, Patricia. Thanks, girly. I'll text you later. <laughs> I know it's late. I know a lot of you guys who are like in a different time zone, it's probably like midnight. I apologize for... I wanted to come on at a time where I knew people were off work. Okay, Miss Jackie, what's your question? Yes, girl. I'm going to eat after this. I, I'm like craving a hot dog. <laughs> You're welcome, Gabitha. Good night. Miss Jackie, yes, someone has been more affectionate towards me lately, and you're wondering why. Ooh. Well, the dream card popped out for you from the Oracle. <coughs> I pulled the, all of the chakras. They like your vibe, okay? They like your vibe. And the self card came out. They really like the way you carry yourself, their, your confidence. But the dreams card came up. So this is a potential love interest. This is somebody who just really digs you, okay? You've been on their mind a lot. Maybe you've popped up in their dream. Maybe you, they've been thinking about you more. And so they're they're putting in that energy towards you like, hey, I'm, I'm noticing you. I'm noticing you. I don't know if this is a love interest or not, but this could be, um, this could also be like if it's platonic, like if it's just friends, um, they just really, they really like your energy is what I'm getting. You used to be like, you used to like this person still sort of, but you don't know if you should like him still. Honestly, it's one of those things. I feel like it's it's your vibe. If you don't feel connected in that way to that person, you don't want to lead them on, you know? But I'm definitely seeing, like, with them, there's just something about your, your energy that they like. They're, I want to say confidence. But I want to say with the dream card that popped out, they've been thinking about you subconsciously. <laughs> And that's like, you know, when someone is thinking of you subconsciously, they're sending thoughts your way, you know, you're feeling that. <laughs> yeah, he was your trainer. That's why you're like, nah. <laughs> he's also a Pisces. So Pisces, you know, he's, he's <laughs> fantasy. Can we say fantasy? He's probably in a fantasy, in a fantasy mode. Woo, that's hot. <laughs> I would say basically the reason why they're giving you a lot of attention is you you just you probably popped up in their dreams a couple of times but they really care they like your they just like your aura <laughs> they like your energy your vibe <laughs> okay let's go let's do Ning Nin G Y I don't know how to say that can you do a reading concerning your career and job, if possible, on a romantic relationship? I could do one or the other, my love. Which one would you want? Would you rather have? Because I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be on here much longer. So, well, I could do your career or I could do your romantic relationship. I prefer romantic relationship. I love doing love readings. So let's do that. Let's do your relationship. Oh, 
Oh, you want to do career? Okay, let's do career. Now, what specific question do you have for your career? The fire card came up. Fire is passion. It's also consuming things. So fire to me is um, definitely, when it comes to career, you need to light, light the fire under your ass is what I'm getting. <laughs> like get moving, okay? Get moving on that. Nine of wands, two of cups, two of swords. Two of Cups and Two of Swords is actually coming up as being blocked in the love department. But I feel like that has to go with your career because when you're, when you're not happy with a certain part of your life, you're not going to be really good to go in other areas of your life, if that makes sense. Um, will there be a change? You heard your boss doesn't like you. Okay. Fire. If you feel like you're... <laughs> If you feel like your boss doesn't like you, fire might mean they may actually be looking for ways to get rid of you. If I take fire as a little a literal message, okay? Because that was the first one that I pulled. The nine of wands can gives me the vibe of maybe like second chances. I don't know if you came close to being let go. If you have been written up or you you've Got, you've gotten points. I don't know how your how your job works, but there's been a lot of like close calls there, and it's almost like your employer might be looking for a reason to let you go. That might be why you're feeling like they don't like you. You feel blocked both at a job and a relationship. Yeah, you're definitely blocked with both because that two of swords came up, but so did the two of cups. So I'm feeling this is what I'm feeling with that. Your relationship, your love life is blocked right now because I feel like you're not happy and you're not you're not having it with other areas in your life, which is your career, your job. So if you're not happy in your job, it's it's I would say it's wise to kind of focus on that before you open yourself up to a relationship and love and in another in a whole other ball game. Because if you're not um, feeling it job wise, like your confidence is down, your energy is down. You're not going to be a good person version of you for a relationship. Do you know what I mean? And you don't want to step into something new with that kind of energy. The guy works at the company too. <laughs> yeah, be careful with that work relationships. Because, yeah, maybe that's why it's blocked. Because it's saying this can't happen. Love can't happen if you're as long as you're working there. Okay? Okay, let's do Mitch. Looking for some guidance on what you can focus on in your shadow work to get out of an old toxic um, energy. You've been trying to get rid of. If you could help a brother out, it would I, you would really greatly appreciate it. Okay, so Mitch, let's see. And, I, and actually, I don't even know what the time is because I have my I'm using my phone. So if I get kicked off from my live, you guys, I won't be coming back on because this is it'll be two hours already and I'm tired. <laughs> So, um, Mitch, this is going to be the, the last reading, you guys, because hubby jumped in the shower, and as soon as he gets out, we're going to go get something to eat because I'm hungry. So, so for Mitch, you're welcome, love. Um, uh, looking for some guidance on what you can focus on in your shadow work to get out of an old toxic energy that you've been trying to get rid of. Woo! Toxic energy, shadow work, all that kind of stuff, um, almost always has to begin with addressing one, the energy that it is, like addressing what it is, okay? Secondly, um, it's sorting out why you feel the way that you feel, and it always has to do with forgiving yourself and or forgiving those people involved, okay? The chariot, the eight of wands, oh, nine of wands. So with the shadow work, it's almost saying rather than dwelling so much over it, you already know what you need to move on from. The chariot and eight of wands are actually both action cards telling you, you got to just move forward. You got to just get it. Go. Chariot also is a card of travel and moving on. So I feel like this is also traveling away from 
a certain person or a toxic environment, a place, a house, this is a job, a person, whatever it is, getting away from it, relocating, moving on, okay? That's another form of healing and getting rid of doing the shadow work, like getting away from it, is actually literally physically moving yourself from the situation. How does that feel for Mitch? Is that almost like a message for you too, girl? <laughs> yeah. So real? Okay. Yeah. So definitely taking action. You need to just, you need to just do it. If you've also been thinking about leaving, like I said, removing yourself from a situation or away from a person, this one, what is this? Dreams. Um, <clears throat> this shadow work for the dreams card to come up. I think this is saying is you have ideas of passions and things that you want to do in life, but for some reason it's this process, this person, this toxicity that has been holding you back. This is actually almost acting as a crutch that I'm feeling. You're welcome, love. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. So yeah, Mitch, it's, it's a crutch, almost like this thing, this person, this toxicity could be maybe one of the reasons why you feel energetically blocked from doing, reaching out, doing your dreams, that kind of thing, your passions. Don't use it as a crutch, though. Any more on who it might be? I don't want to say who because I feel like I, but I want to say it's male, a male energy. It could be a father. It could be a male person who had a big, strong, what's the word I'm looking for? Influence on you growing up, but I feel it's male. I also feel like your male relationships, um, aren't always as strong as you wish they would be because of this. That's, but that's based on me feeling it. So I could be wrong. You think you know, but you don't want it to be them. Sometimes it is though, <laughs> unfortunately. The shadow brings up a lot though. <laughs> a few of us are in your period, yeah. Yeah, you got the period pains too. See, so many of us, I was feeling it hard and it comes in waves because like right now I'm not feeling it. I was feeling it again, but I didn't really announce it. But that first time I was feeling it hard and then it went away. So I'm wondering if that is spirit also. I mean, I don't know if you guys, like when spirit connects, I don't know if spirit kind of maybe like is, is like, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. You know what I mean? Maybe they're trying to get your attention. But yeah, it's kind of funny that we were all feeling that. Right? Yeah. You got to get off the live then. <laughs> I know. We don't want to start our periods again. I literally just finished mine. Mine is done. So definitely lots of, lots of heavy, heavy uh, feminine energy there, right? <laughs> Pulsing pussies. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> okay, you guys. So it is, I don't know what time it is. It's probably already nine o'clock or beyond nine. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this little full moon fortunes thing that I was doing. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I hope, I don't know what your candles look like, but this is what mine looks like. Ooh, I'm probably going to put them out. My candle's been burning nicely. So um, I hope that you guys learned, you know, something from the manifestation. I hope you guys see some good things coming your way with what you did manifest. Um, I apologize for not getting to all of you for readings, but it is, you know, it's hard to get to everybody. But just understand that, um, you know, if it was meant to be, it was meant to be. And I hope to be able to do a live again soon. It's just my living situation is kind of difficult right now. But when I get my house, 
there will be so many more lives. So um, until then, thank you guys so much for your support. And my Halloween theme readings are going to be available till the 31st of October. So if you want to grab one, snag it. If it says it's sold out, it's sold out forever until 2019. <laughs> But if you, you know, if you want a Halloween reading, they're still available till the 31st. Um, and if you guys have any other questions um, about any of my services or, or any questions about candle manifestation, go ahead and send me a DM. I will get to them as I have time. But thank you guys for being in here. And I love you all. And I will connect with you soon. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay? So if you are still having your space open, I just ask that all spirit, please leave. <laughs> you can go now go to the light you can go from where you came thank you for our guides and our angels and everybody for attending but as soon as we um, close out this space we are done so please spirit you can go I send you off with love and light and thank you guys all for joining and I will see you guys later on bye loves <laughs>